At a time when everyone like we we had to use like 75 hertz monitors in competitions. Oh god, coming from CRTs at home. Oh my god, it was so bad. But here we are. We're getting live. Evil and SK Rafa are about to face off on the first map. Lost World. We're on Rafa to begin with as he picks up that red armor and the plasma gun. He's going to be wanting to grab that lightning gun ASAP as he, it will allow him to move up onto that open area. But actually, he was going to be there first. And he's going to make himself scarce again. He can't get caught. Uh, Evil has a lightning gun. He does not. He cannot fight that. Evil oh, is going to intercept. Evil. This could be the first frag. Oh my god. Direct. And Red has been neglected. Off the spawn. It's going to be another one here for Evil. 2 0. Evil in the first aggression. 30 seconds. Evil oh, and he gets rocket right there. He wants more. Evil does not quit. He does not give up. He just wants to pile on the aggression, pile on the heat as he picks up two frags early in this match. The Mega's up on the spot there. He'll grab that as well. And now he's going to go back for round number two on Rafa. And <laughs> Rafa's going to actually be caught right at this yellow. But can he do the rockets? Oh, oh it's so close. It's so close. Yeah, six health left Evil had, but he's managed to pick up a bit of health and armor afterwards. He's ready on for this red armor. And the 50 health bubble is a zip. That's why never he found out. Oh, the 50 health bubble not there, but that's not really a disappointment to uh, Evil so much after having such an explosive start. 3-0. Indeed. For evil, things are slowing down though on Lost World. What Rafa's got to do that? He's, you know, he just lost three frags on one of the slowest maps possible in such an early stage. He's going to be playing on the yellow uh, areas for a while, I, uh, I presume. Mm. I'll be surprised if he wants to even take a fight in the next uh, 20 or 30 seconds because he can't take that risk at the moment. There he goes, he's around the Megas area, and the thing is, is that Megas not for quite some time. But Rafa may well have be, be in the dark on the Mega time. The yep. mega health time is something he absolutely needs. It, oh no, he's going to get caught by Evil. Great interception. And Rafa taking quite a bit of damage there. And Evil going to prioritize the mega beyond taking that red, which is the right move to do. He grabs that. Rafa's nowhere to be seen. Rafa's still without a mega health time, which is critical to his ability to get back in the game. And there you go. Rafa once again going to be beaten away by Evil's presence on that open map area. And the thing about playing out of control for Rafa is that he, um, in the open areas where Evil wants to fight him with LG, he can't fight him straight up because he has less stack. With LG, the damage is consistent. So you can't, you need, you need so annoying for Rafa Evil right stacks. Now. I'm, I'm watching Evil's point of view as well. Oh, he comes back. Time. Oh my God, good damage here from Rafa. Is he going to be pushing through a little bit? He's going to get onto Mega Health. Oh my goodness, what Evil killing himself happened? there. Good job, Evil. Man, he's giving Rafa a bit of a hand over there. Well, it seems. He's spawning by the LG and Yellow, so it's actually not completely bad. It, it, he might, there's a possibility he even You think did he did it on purpose? It a has small chance. You know, what, it, you know what? It's actually, you're right. You're actually completely right there. Because he's now got a, a decent set of weaponry. He's able to defend in this room, but not when you get those rockets like that. Rafa could pick up another one. Dropping down, he's got the shotgun out. What, what are these weapon choices by Rafa? He had very little LG ammunition well, left. Well, we've seen him do quite the, quite a few gauntlet plays so far. Yeah. So uh, who knows what's up? Rafa's uh, inventing new ways to play the game as he picks up another mega. And Rafa he could get caught pretty badly here. He's trying to use the choke points. You can see him shooting rockets around corners, uh, like completely limiting the, his exposure to evils. Evil requires line of sight. Rafa does not with rockets. And there you go. He's going to get another kill as Rafa desperately wanted that lightning gun, but it goes down. Yeah, indeed, and uh, well, you know, Rafa may be thinking that uh, Evil didn't have quite as much health and armor than he actually had, and that's why he stuck around for it, because or either that or Rafa felt like, you know, I'm not going to be able to escape from this room, let's just get it over and done with. Mega yeah. health up next, and well, Evil's about to be 200-150, and uh, Rafa, hoping for the best. Yeah, he most certainly is, but he's got to find his way onto Evil somehow. But the problem is, is that, again, he needs some Mega time. He needs to be able to get at least 100 yellow before he can even move to, to Mega. And once he gets that fight at Mega, he can start making things happen. He does steal away the red armor, but still he is lacking on stack. The amount and of damage that Evil does vertically with the Lightning Guard in just 0.3 of a second is absurd. Rafa it immediately is lost like 70 health from that, that just tiny little splash. Yeah, it's over yellow gone. It's, it's quite insane. And there's going to be more yellows up, so you know Rafa's not going to be winning on the, the mega health, but he can get himself plenty of armor. And he, he can choose his time carefully for the next fight. He doesn't need to rush it. The thing is so hard for him to catch Evil off by surprise. 
Uh, he's going to have to work on it. He's got several minutes that he's going to go to in which he can try and do it. Yeah, exactly. Evil and Rafa right now are having quite the battle. But the thing is, is that Evil, oh, look at that dodge, that jump straight over the rockets of Rafa. But Rafa's not done yet, oh. but that is going to be him taken down by Evil. Electrocuted to death in Bubble. one, Bubble. two. <laughs> another frag for Evil. And he's looking even for the spawns right now. And five to zero now the score. Every play that Rafa has made has been shot down by Evil. Just, I just love how he just hopped over, just hopped over he that, he that rocket. He skipped over that rocket. It was incredible. And it, it was really, if Rafa hit that rocket, he would have probably have got the kill. Now trying with the rockets again, but Evil making a good switch. 6-0 now, just past the halfway mark. Oh. Guys, you know, there's the pummel, but not this time. It's worked before, but uh, Evil Only on the hang so far. Maybe the hang has something, some weakness to pummel. <laughs> it's just an allergy, really. And Evil is uh, going to go back to trying to deny the shards. It's almost like he's timing the shards. Yeah. He's cycling them. Oh, you want, you want anything on the map? Well, I'm not going to go to you, but this mega health, you're going to have to fight me for it. And oh. Rafa can't even make it onto it. 8-0 yeah, now. Yeah, I was, was going to say, GG. he's got to call it at that point. Six minutes in, man, and Evil has taken map number one very convincingly. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that was also Rafa's pick. And, I mean, Ouch. <laughs> we said it at the start. Evil is an explosive player. Just look at that start, man. Mm -hmm. The guy just just went crazy right at the beginning. He was all up in Rafa's face, just immediately intercepting yeah. Rafa at the lightning gun. And it really felt like Rafa was like, whoa, you, you, you're not really supposed to do this. <laughs> but Evil did it anyway, but and he Rafa got the kill. got 44% algae, and Evil got 33% algae, or 34% algae. But the thing is, Evil did three times more damage with that weapon. Yeah. And that just shows really how much uh, he uses it. It's, it's oh yes, incredible. yeah, yeah. It's, it's I mean, a great effect. The lightning gun is consistent damage. If you have if you have great accuracies, it's it's the most reliable way to to be dealing damage all the time. Mm -hmm. In 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 most situations, of course, you can see Rafa. He was working with a stack deficit all the time, so he was trying to use those angles and rockets. But here we go. The next map is getting live. Evil match point. It's, he just has to win his home map now, and he will take down Rafa. Here we are. Well, we're on Rafa at the moment. He's going to be taking that top yellow and plasma. Going to be making his way quickly over to that red. So he's got plenty of health and armor to work with at the moment. Now he just needs some of the more important weapons on the map. And actually predicting Evil to be up at the top. Uh, Evil just really hanging around the bottom corridor a lot. And uh, blocking Rafa off from those two important weapons, the LG and the Rail. Rafa's managed to sneak his way around onto one of them. And I think Rafa should really take his time on this map. Oh Sur yeah. Surprise attacks. You know, Evil kind of wants the aggressive plays to occur because he, he can do so well. But look at oh. this, he just appears around the corner. Good rockets from Evil. This could be the first frag for him. And it is. The Russian is going to be taking the lead in the first. 45 seconds. And that really shows you a lot about the rocket game and a great follow-up kill from Evil. Again, the explosiveness in the early moments really setting the tone, the pace of Evil's gameplay. And right there, if you looked at the fight, Rafa missed the crucial first rocket and it suddenly put him so far behind. Evil, a hop, a rail, and he's uh, just, uh, just trying, to, trying to line it up and doesn't go for it in the end, but that red is still up on the spot for Evil, and Rafa may be lurking, but I don't think Evil's too worried about this. He will take the precautions. Oh, wow. But Rafa does delay him long enough that he can pick up the Mega, although he only nets 20 points of health there because of the rail connected from Evil on his way across. Yeah, evil up, getting his health back up and running. It's actually fairly evil, uh, evil, even between the two. <laughs> and, um, I'm not sure what can happen next. It's actually all completely up in the air, but Rafa needs to make the plays happen. He's been really struggling to. I don't think he got a single frag on the last map. He's got to oh, there's the oh LG carrying it in the God. air. He can't get the rail at the end. That would have been the finishing blow. Evil are lucky to be alive right now. Watching over. Ooh, Ooh. Rocket was painful. Yeah, man. You felt that was one you really felt. Yeah, and but. Evil. Oh my god, Rafa's going to come through, he has such a good opportunity right here, has to back away, Evil is very low, does manage to escape, and Rafa won't be able to close just yet, but I mean Rafa really putting in a lot of good solid work here, mm -hmm. catching Evil off guard crazily, let's switch over to his perspective, he's got 150 armor, going to get to 200, and he's going to be able to push the momentum straight into Evil, if he can just, if he can just get to him, and there he is, he's going to find him, and that is a lot of damage, a clean kill. Very clean kill. That's exactly what Rafa needed. Can he find off the spawn? He can. One direct rocket. He's going to finish it with a second. That's the tie game. <laughs> Man, he did so much damage there. Oh, I thought Rafa was going to stick around and try and hit another rail, but you know what? I'm not going to risk it. He's going to pick up a rocket launcher and might get a direct one onto me, which you know, I can't afford to take. 
And uh, Rafa now, having rejuvenated himself somewhat, he can drop down and have a gander where Evil is. But little does he know, Evil is up at the top level by the shotgun. Yeah, Rafa's going to make his way there. around. Yeah. Oh. He spies some sound cues from Evil there. And Evil trying to be sneaky with the rocket's not going to happen. Rafa managed to tie the game up and he's got control. See, this is a big result for him. And he hits the rail on Evil, but he still has the rail out. And Evil's consistent damage dealing from that lightning gun usage is painful. Rafa gets the hell out of there, but Evil is still around there. Going to find him at the plasma yellow, but the, he will go down. And that is another yellow as well as the frag for Rafa. Great stuff here from Rafa. Actually, what he needed to perform. He almost had the blood one win on an Evil uh -oh. last time round. But is he going to be able to claw it away this time? LG on LG. Evil hitting so Beautiful. much. The shotgun coming out as well. Interesting weapon switch from Evil. It was really interesting there because actually Rafa was LGing a bit, but then killing time. Oh. Knowing that Evil had to con con like continually shoot LG, it's like, I'm going to take the fight when I know you'll, you'll run out of, out of ammunition. So you can't kill me. And you can see that Evil had to switch the shotgun. And then Rafa had an advantage. Holy cow, the red armor. Evil claws it up. Rafa was hoping that he was going to leave red up out of um, more respect, really. But noticing that Rafa was nowhere near, took his opportunity. And suddenly, Rafa not looking so good, but that's the rail he needed to hit. He hits another one as well. Yellow has been taken by the Russian. And Rafa's going to back off towards that top yellow, which spawned any second now. Yeah, Rafa's going to make his way around. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> what do you say to that? Evil's on nine health. That was almost a killing blow right there, and he just immediately goes through a teleport that does not want to have anything to do with it. He's going to play this map much slower now. Yeah, Raph is in a position where he can start calming down and basically go, okay, let's just try to deny as many items as possible, oh, maintain good position, one. and Evil wanted to challenge there. The thing, okay, the thing about that was Evil could have stood closer to the doorway so that if he sees Rafa, he can leave. But he's just standing in the open on the yellow. There's nowhere to escape to. He's going to die, and Rafa just catches him. I mean, that's the fundamental error, I think. Yeah, Rafa is just, just waiting for this yellow. He knows as soon as he takes this, he can go over to that mega. Oh, Evil coming over close, but he was so weak. How, how was he so weak? He must have been uh, self damaging him, uh, self damaging a little bit there. Because he died immediately. Top yellow gonna be up, and Rafa has now taken every single item on the map back to back. And he's just looking for more blood. Yeah, we've got four frags separating these guys now, so Evil is gonna start feeling pressured because of the clock in the next minute or so to make action happen. He does get a good round to Rafa, but again, cannot approach through that choke point. Too risky, too dangerous, too much respect for Rafa as a player to do it with all that knowledge. So Rafa's going to rocket jump back up to that red. Mega's coming up. Evil cannot challenge for this, so I would be very shocked to see him here. So it, it feels like we're a minute or two away until Evil's actually going to commit to a huge play because Evil is not being aggressive right now. And if, if he's not being aggressive, then he's being he's going to be playing it slow. Exactly. And it's interesting though, because you don't often see Evil playing a slow no. game. And it's smart. He's going to be able to do it. It's smart. He realizes this is only option. I think, think that's very wise. Yeah, he has to. I'm going to be checking Evil. He's actually only on a 100 health, 55 armor. And he's just trying to get information. What is Rafa doing? Can I just keep on having the knowledge of what the item rotation is? If Evil loses track of what when the items are up, it's going to be even harder for him to keep, a, keep an eye on Rafa and know yeah. when he wants to surprise him. Nice jump up there by Rafa, but more great rockets from Evil. LG is out. If Evil can do this if oh he can hit a good how, rocket. How? how? Nice wow, okay, Rafa Rafa. I, how did Evil do so much damage to him without the LG? <laughs> Rafa misses his jump. He's got to be careful here. Fortunately oh for him, oh God. Evil's not next to him. Okay, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's, it, it's okay. Come on, come on. <laughs> so okay, 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 okay. for Rafa. Yeah, for sure. And now, okay, Evil did the slow, playing slow thing. Now, he could actually just go super aggressive because the scoreline is quite heavy. Um, for Rafa, so Evil might be thinking, man, it's going to take me too long to build up, and it's all going to come down to one play. I'm good at being aggressive. Let's do something crazy. Let's switch to Evil. We can yep. see he's got, he actually managed to steal away the Mega, oh, but the, the all the grenades let Rafa know exactly where he is. He's going to commit to this, though. He comes out. No, he, is he going to back away? Oh, oh the good plasma. plasma as well has been pretty effective, but wow. Rafa comes right back to his face. I Eight to it. two now. He might have been taken down at Paul, very convincingly on Lost World, but he is showing he can do exactly the same on Evil on his most comfortable map. Yeah, it, it's so impressive the damage output of Evil. It just c cannot be stressed enough. He makes it look easy. Yeah. And, and I mean, players just don't get the damage that he does in any situation. 
And it's one of the things that makes him so hard to play against. Is because whenever you're facing a situation as a player, you're making, you always have an assumption of if I'm in this fight, knowing what uh, what roughly what their stack is and what their weapons are, I know how much damage I'm going to take. I know how much damage I'm going to have after this fight. That means I know I can take this fight or not. Against evil, you just and get yeah, crushed. yeah, against evil, everything is more, always yeah, more damage. Greater. So, <laughs> so you have to be very careful with your plays, and I've seen it catch a lot of players off guard. Oh, he's got, I've got evil over here, he's making a rocket jump up, we've got red armor after a second, he might just make a rocket jump over, but he's done quite good damage now, makes the jump over, and he's got to hope for a really quick comeback, good LG, looking for rally. he's gonna oh. hit it, evil, back in the game now, jumping down for this mega health, and there is a yellow up, evil's got to find, keep finding Rafa very quickly, I think he just saw his face up there. I thought that teleport to exit can't quite hit the shots and top yellow is Raffles. Uh, just missing that. He's going to make his way around now. And there are the ammo boxes. going to collect those. And now with this red, he is feeling the power. He can now go and challenge for Rafa. Challenge for those big items. But if we can find him, he must be find him also. Rafa's just doing a great job of constantly being on yeah. the opposite side of the map. The way evil is. Yeah, even his frag's not item for now. The Jibo. He's going to do the Jibo. Oh, and Evil taking some damage through the teleporter. And his mega taken. Evil jumping up the bounce pad towards top yellow, finding him, but can't get a rail off. He needs to go for these uh, opportunistic uh, rail shots as well. That's so good for the longest so damage. For it. Look at that. Nice rocket, rocket defense. It's so frustrating to be in this position for Evil because you just, like, every rocket kills so much time and it's like you just can't keep going. He's going to find yeah. Rafa. This is it though for Evil. He might just be able to get the frag. Oh my god, it's so close. And Rafa's defensive rockets are just good enough. hit him. Oh, can't he get him just at all. cannot get to Rafa. Where's the rocket that's going to land oh, in his face? Man. Plasma coming out. <laughs> oh, man. I feel so sorry for Evil. He's like, oh, man. Yeah. Man, <laughs> like all of that. <laughs> I can't believe it. It just didn't amount to anything. Rafa had five health as well. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's uh, unfortunate for Evil, but he's still chasing hard, although time has been killed successfully, yeah. and Evil is going to call GG. GG. Rafa takes it to a tiebreaker map. Can two Rafa break Evil's streak against him, or is he going to just, is it some kind of curse? Yeah, well, a, we're a curse. See. I yeah. don't know. There you can see Rafa again on the screen. He's this, feeling better this now. beautiful SK shirt there. He, he got a win on Evil at last, a map win, mm. but he doesn't just want the map win, man. But you know what? He doesn't feel good about this. He feels like, I played a game. It was a game. <laughs> this, he, is, this is where it he counts. Must, he must remove the emotion because he's got he's to now. He can't feel good about it. He can't f feel too comf comf uh, comf comfortable or mm -hmm. confident. He just has to keep focused on playing his game and not let emotions like mess with him at all. Yeah, he can't like feel like his job's done already. The whole emotional side of things is really impactful. A lot of players who are really, really, really good because they have like this mm. kind of outcome kind of dependency like they win they feel great they lose they feel terrible it's like this this fluctuation that really hurts you in a tournament situation where at all times you must be composed because in this game something horrible could happen to rafa but you know that it's not going to phase him mm -hmm. it's not going to phase him he's going to be feeling cool calm collected he's going to come back he knows it's not the end of the world he's just going to play the situation for the situation and everything else be damned well, apparently he's going to have to be rebooting his computer, so we are going to have oh. down the time for just a couple of seconds. But we get to watch him. <laughs> we get to, we get to, I mean, <laughs> it's, a bit it's a bit creepy, right? I don't do know. We, have, we, have the, we could have the evil cam as well, man. That would be, that would be awesome. I wonder, I wonder what evil's up to, though. Is he, he's just warming up here. Honestly, a bicep, some bicep flex going on well, from, 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 Rafa. From, from Rafa right now. We have a quick flex. We're, we're, we're such a good Everyone. angle. Come on, walkie-talkies. Hey, maybe, uh, maybe Sander. Oh, Vu will, will do, do it. <laughs> but he's got headphones on, he probably can't hear anything. I think, yeah, that is a Vu uh, just bending down on the right. I think that's the hang just uh, between the monitors, the face that you can see. And then yes. Rafa staying limber, staying limber. You know, you, you, can't, you can't beat evil unless you can at least touch your toes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, so. Toxicity, man. This is going to be interesting. Do you favor anyone on toxicity? Uh, well, Rafa is very, very, very good here, but then evil's evil. Yeah. I mean, uh, what do you want? What, what should I say Man, about I, that? I don't know, because either way, we're going to be seeing one of them going up against Dahang in the winner bracket final, which is going to be absolutely sensational. Oh yes, yes, yes! It's going to be very interesting. I mean, Dahang has gone so far again and again. Every mm -hmm. tournament, he's he, he turns up and he's like, "I am good enough to win." You see it over and over again. Yeah. And we're so close to. S I mean, of course, the finals day is not going to be. We won't play the finals, the grand finals today. No. But we will find out on Sunday, uh, Saturday if he can actually make that happen. I'm really excited exactly. to see it. Yeah. Well, 
Uh, we can't wait for that. I, I guess it's going to be um, the winner, the guy who wins the winner bracket final is going to get a map advantage and the best of mm -hmm. five in the grand final, I believe, is going to be the uh, system that's going to be used. Not like two best of threes or however you want to put it. But um, I think uh, uh, Rafa making his way to the server very slowly. Uh, <laughs> hey, surely. Hey, come on. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, that sounds like a, a criticism. Like he's not trying hard enough. No, 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 no. Oh, here he is. He's got his computer on. So we're all there good. But um, Look how bright it is. <laughs> you stop staring I at I his know, monitor, it's, 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 I, <laughs> I think it's interesting <laughs> to see what he's, he's You're doing. just judging his gamma, man. This I know. You can't do this to him. I'm terribly prejudiced I wonder about if gamma. what the Hang's doing, though. Is he going to be watching the game? Is he actually spectating the match, trying to get... Yeah, he's actually on the server watching. So he's just trying to pick up any like useful hints and stuff. Uh, maybe making notes of a couple of players mm. to see how things go. I, I love the venue, by the way. I mean, look at the player area, it's awesome. Yeah, it's like you were saying, cool. old 120 Hz monitors. I mean... You can see the depth there, how big the room actually is, and it's about the same on the other side, so it's, it's pretty massive. But I, I think definitely um, because... Uh, well, actually, Rafa's made it back to the server, so I won't continue just yet, as we could be seeing it ready up any second now. So we've got to be prepared for that. And admins have called ready, and hopefully... For Rafa, he's going to be able to. They're just waiting for him right now. Evil is all F3'd up. Yeah, I guess Rafa's just checking everything feels good after, after that reboot. Maybe he needs yeah, another that's one. Good. That's the important thing. Maybe another reboot is required. I hope not. <laughs> I have to ask him what, what that, what, you know, that, what's that, what is that? Why? Is it, is it like the mouse that he's using? I know he had maybe problems with it before. Maybe there's stuttering or anything. I don't know. It could be no, any sure. number of things, I guess. Who knows? But uh, Rafa executing his configs, I believe. You can see him pulling down the console there. I love this. We, look, this setup we have, this QuakeCon, is so awesome. <laughs> look at all the awesome production we have. We, ha we can see all the players and everything. It, it's, it's glorious. <laughs> it's, I'm a... Uh, Smiles all around, man. Yeah. The, the production crew are pumping their fists. They're loving it. <laughs> yeah, the Mick and Suscoots combination is, is powerful. Yeah, we've got them here, man. It's, uh, it's fantastic. It's glorious. <laughs> Power like Russian. We've got a nice little intimate audience on the other side of the production, <laughs> the production area as well. <laughs> yeah. It's groovy stuff. And we've got it readied up, guys. This is the tiebreaker of the winner bracket semi finals. Here we Evil go. Versus Rafa on toxicity. Let's get it going right now, DDK. I'm on uh, Rafa off the beginning. Gonna be getting the LG, listening to Evil taking that red armor. And now they're gonna be on the teleport to exit. Are they gonna decide the first frag right now? Evil with a direct rocket. He misses the control. Oh, no ammunition. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's nine health left, and Evil oh, takes oh, it. Oh, Evil. <laughs> you you kind of need that right now, man. You should pick that up. Thank you. <laughs> oh, good God. Evil actually taking that frag with nothing left. Rafa running out of out ammunition. Out. Yeah. It's so oh, okay, stressful stuff. Let's calm this down. I need my where's my stress ball? I found it. I'm I'm good to go. Evil, hundred armor. Everything is spawning in twenty seconds. And with rails like this, okay, it's really important for players with of this caliber that, he just wants that, kill, man. that the kills are not clean. Him right now, he wants that second one immediately. But he just can't quite find it. He's listening to him hovering around that uh, lower uh -huh. area. Evil might be giving away red armor. Or perhaps not, at least there'll be damage first. There it is. This is brilliant for Evil. Everything is working out as expected, or better than expected for Evil. And again, it's okay. As long as Rafa doesn't allow Evil any clean kills, he is okay. If the Oh, look at that. My God. It Rafa just didn't, and he never saw that coming. No, not at all. And I don't just, think anyone did. He instantly wanted that railgun. Try to get a peak angle, but uh, working against it. 100, yeah. 100 here for Evil, and Rafa's on Mega Health a little bit early. This could be another one for the Russian. 4-0 uh -oh. now. That was a, that was close to me, kind of clean. I mean, if Evil gets a couple clean frags in a row, the momentum shift is potentially very, very dangerous. If Evil starts connecting those initial rails, mm -hmm. that's when you see Toxicity games get out of control. And it can happen, and we'll see if Rap is able to avoid it. One of the best Toxicity players of all time. He's, he knows this map, he knows how to play it well, and he knows exactly what it is like. So there it is, Evil right there, pressuring Rafa from above. He's going to try to keep him at bay for long enough that he can scoop up some items. And, and Evil does it, but he's not very stacked. Mega's coming up, but does Rafa have time on it? He does! Yeah, he's going to challenge one. for it! He's going to get some rockets on him, but he's got to be careful. Oh, oh, rocket no. to finish it off. Rafa is on the board. He might get a conversion immediately. He needs those health bubbles because the machine gun hurts so bad. Wow. Two to four. Can you believe how lucky Rafa was there? Like, he was a rocket, like, forcibly pushed him onto Mega. <laughs> Another rail would be great oh, for Rafa. Oh, my. Rockets, uh, 
so painful. Uh, to try to a little cute rocket jump. I don't know how that was meant to work out. Rafa, gotta get out of there. Careful. Yeah, that was uh, very stressful for both players. And Rafa's gonna have to retreat now to the 50, but it's not there. No 50 for you. 25s aren't there. He's, this is problematic. If there's not health and you're really low, you're so low you can't make a play. You're inactive on the map. That's giving your opponent three time, three items, three everything. And you've got to be really careful. If you're, and especially on a map like this, if you're too passive, you're, if you're too inactive, it is. It can be very exactly. dangerous. Your opponent's just gonna stack up. Uh, uh, so much that you're not even going to con contest in the next fight. Oh, actually, oh. Pharrell, he misses the shot, and Evil just walks oh, straight on. Right Two on great Morgan. rockets, though, from Pat Raffer. And this is going to be for Yellow. He's going straight through. He's taking a lot of risk at the moment. You, you said it before as well. You have to constantly deal damage in this map. Yeah, Absolutely. Raffer's doing it, man. He's making sure he doesn't leave him alone for too long at a time. Oh, he's going to be careful. 66 health. Ooh. Looking for Pharrell on the side. This is it. Not quite. Well, not quite there. Oh, and Ra Rafford finding evil going on to the Mega Helm. Can he get enough LG damage? Rocket there doesn't hit, doesn't connect from Rafford from evil. See, he's looking for an angle of LG on LG. Rafford's got to be careful. Trying to get a rail angle. Oh, and Rafford going to get taken out by evil. He had 15 health left. It went down. So the absolute now that is. Very, very close play with yeah. Evil and Evil. And if you, if you just tuned in, this is the deciding map mm -hmm. between these two titans of the game. Great rocket there from Evil to open up this fight. He's like, okay, I will ha happily take this fight now. I know you're really weak, but can he get in there before the pick up of the Mega? Almost, but look at this. Look how aggressive he is. He loves it. And he is going to go down. Rafa defends immaculately there, but Evil hasn't. Is he, Rafa has not heard the last of him. He's going to keep coming back and, and back and back Tide again and again. Seen right here, chasing him round the corner at the LG. Yeah, he was going to keep going in though. He just wants to keep going in now. He is committing to series of aggression. He's happy to lose three or four frags in a row. If he can get that control back, look at Rafa's stack. It's not so, so intimidating anymore. Yeah, he's going for the vertical plasma option. Dangerous stuff. And he goes nice. down for the acid. Easy for Rafa to catch him out. And now that is the lead for the American. Mega Melted. taken as well. His stack has just gone absolutely into overdrive. Looking for a rail at the end, but not quite going to snatch it. And Rafa is sitting very pretty at the moment. Things are looking grim for Evil. We, Evil needs to do something magical. Like, I mean, okay, he does that kind of stuff a lot. And that, like that, exactly like that. I get, I get like that too. And <laughs> Rafa will get the red armor, but Evil did uh, enough damage there. Sufficient damage was dealt. Rafa picks up that yellow. Evil's giving himself a little bit of breathing room. The problem is the mega here. That is kind of the problem. Rafa should be able to get this easily. And Okay, so he did a lot of damage earlier, but Rafa just took all the items in yeah, the wasn't really paying attention, well, on the map, for control at all. And now he's early at the Red Armor. He's going to go down once more, 8 to 5 now for the American. And he's going to push even harder with this kind of stack. He's going to be feeling unstoppable right now. Yeah, as you said, like, he didn't take any of the items. And that needs to be part of the play when you're doing damage. Steal, like, steal away some items. Yeah, there's a, there's a yellow behind. Rafa is on the verge of taking his second full rotation. Every item on the map, both Mega and Red spawning at the same time. Rafa trying to negotiate his way, his way around both the items, pushing in right now. He wants to finish the frag first, and he denies Red Armor. Massive play again. Can he get over to Mega Health in time? I think he's going to. That is incredible control from Rafa. And here's Evil below. Look at the pressure he wants to exert. This is this is Evil. And like he will go for all these crazy moves. And a lot of a lot of these moves you can't like other players can't really pull it off. It's because Evil's so good at the aggressive damage, like hitting crazy axes whilst running into your face and doing the dodging and stuff. But still, it can sometimes again blow up in his face. But it's only four frags and great oh, rocket. rocket. Oh and man, Evil with some good splash follow up as well. Oh, the rocket again! Rafa jumping up and connecting directly! Evil was hoping that Rafa wouldn't take that route. And down again, looking for the rocket. Can't quite hit Rafa through the teleporter. Mega is now up. Evil taking a lot of risks at the moment. Oh, beautiful. Evil is absolutely screwed right now. <laughs> I mean, put it bluntly. Oh, just... yeah. <laughs> He's so screwed. And the thing is, is that... Okay, he might be able to switch control around, but by the, that time, like Rafa's already kind of secured like a 7-8 frag lead at the very least, yeah. and Evil's it's unlikely he's going to be able to get stacked. 11 to 5 now. Evil's got to find something in the tank real soon. It's running on fumes right now. There's the LG, 12 to 5. Rafa continually extending this lead. And, uh, well, Evil's done a fair amount of damage, but I feel we're going to just see Rafa taking all the items again. Red yeah. armor up. And Rafa's in position to take it again. It's as if 
It's just as if Evil never did any damage in the first place. Yeah, it's looking like Rafa is coming closer and closer to being the victor of this series. And you have to yet, praise Rafa. Rafa and his amazing composure. It's never too late. <coughs> yeah, Evil can still make it happen. Oh, Evil trying to get some algae damage off. He got a bit in a relatively fair exchange. But he needs more. And this red armor, can he get it? It's up in a second. He picks it up in time. There's some oh, good damage on Rafa. So low. Finally, we're seeing something now from Evil. More some more promise. He's scared right now. And he does, he does, uh, his fear is removed upon that pickup of the Mega. But seriously, look how scary it is with Evil. But Rafa, he just has to hold on tight. He's got a nice 8 frag lead at the moment. And let's switch to Evil to see what his next play will be. We can see, okay, he's his kind of inactive right now. Yeah, he has no, he's <laughs> waiting for the 50. And that, again, oh, good rockets from Evil, but he just doesn't have the, ha the health and armor to stay in the fight. And there it spawns the 50 after he, he dies. More rockets. Evil in a lot of trouble right now, approaching a potentially a 9 frag difference. Rafa for making jumps over, perfect shot, 14 to 5. And Rafa, this could be his first uh, competitive victory against Evil right here. It is one map to one right now, but look at the rockets onto Rafa. He's got a minute and 20 seconds left, and finally, Evil gets something run, but is it too late? Eight frag, this, is, this has got to be the most perfect <laughs> yeah. final minute No kidding, world. no kidding, seriously, Rafa's not gonna let that happen. Absolutely too good for that kind of shenanigans to occur, and Evil is... I'm, I'm happy for Rafa here, I'm really happy for him, because I didn't, I didn't want this to be something that would happen that oh, every time is. he faces evil, he just loses. Exactly. Even he's though it's really close. He's broken the curse right now. But nine frags are different, so 45 seconds to go. This is going to be reaching garbage time very shortly. Rafa just trying to secure items and getting some nice flair with the rails. 16 to 6, 10 frags are different. And we're looking like the winner bracket finals is going to be consisting of the hang versus Rafa. Yeah, the Rafang, the good old Rafang match. Absolutely. It has happened many, many times before, and it will happen many, many times in the future. So but these two players, well, the Hang and Rafa are guaranteed top three. Evil's calling GG. It has come to an end, 18 to six, and two maps to one. Rafa has put himself in the winner bracket finals. Yeah, great performance from Rafa there, taking down Evil. Sinkara and wins. you're very happy. Sink Sinkara wins. Sinkara wins. I'm happy because Sinkara wins at the top. Uh, oh yeah, I, uh, yeah! I see that Sinkara wins. Did you Sinkara? You did it. <laughs> awesome stuff, and this is so good for Rafa right now. I mean, Evil can still beat his way back yeah, and, I mean and take the tournament. It's just a harder route. The thing is, is that this is Rafa to hang again. Okay, we've seen this. We've seen it week in, week out. The Sunday Cups mm -hmm. and so on. Everyone's used to the whole Rafang thing, but. Quake Kong counts. This is land, man. This is land. Do it on land, as CZM would say. Do it on land. Was it Dahang that took out Rafa last year? I can't remember how the semi-finals went down because I know that Dahang came second and Rafa came third okay. in 2012. So possibly Dahang may have got the win on him last year on land. Mm. And, and um, we, we yep. could be seeing it. If it didn't, then we could be seeing it happen now. And he's already had plenty of opportunities to beat him online on the face at North American Cup, which he's done four exactly, times yep, or so. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Yep, and you know the next match we'll go to is one of the ones that when we were looking at the brackets, I was like, oh, I'd like to see that. Yeah. Do you remember which one it was? Please remind me. Destruct versus Sturmy. Awesome. So Our Italian gonna hero. Hmm? That's going to be a one yeah. of the lower bracket semi-finals or something like that. Exactly. Yeah. Approaching that kind of end, that kind of end. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So uh, I believe we're going to be taking just a minute out, and then we're going to be back as uh, Sturmy and uh, DKT are going to be preparing for their game. So we'll see you in just a moment and take a quick break. See you guys soon.